Hello everyone. I'm back this week with another plan with me in my bullet journal. It's been quite a while since I did a monthly bullet journal spread, so please sit back, grab a cup of tea or coffee, and enjoy the video. Since this is going to be a very minimal setup, we're only going to be using a black fine liner and, of course, our bullet journal. I start off writing my title in cursive. Next, I'm going to be using dots to create a frame for my calendar. I'm going to be using bigger dots on the intersections and smaller dots to fill in the lines. The easy thing is that I can just follow the dots that are already in my dotted journal. This makes this a really easy and relaxing way for me to fill in these lines. It's honestly just such a simple process, but it looks very nice, at least I think so. Do you guys use dotted lines in your bullet journal? I'm honestly not sure why I haven't before now. I'm putting a to-do list on the right side, which is not really just a to-do list, but basically an everything list, but you know, it needs a title. And then just putting some random dots all around my titles, because dots is apparently my team of today. Finally, I just have to fill in the dates underneath each big dot that I placed, and our calendar page is done. Next, I'm going to be setting up two weekly spreads next to each other. I normally don't set up all my weekly spreads while I'm setting up my monthly, but since I don't have to put up trackers and I'm going to be quite busy this month, I don't want to have to spend too much time putting in my weeklies. So I decided to start with these two to make it easier on myself. To continue my theme, using dots I'm creating a column with 7 rows. It barely fits my page, but it works out as you can see. I'm using the bigger dots as a border and smaller dots to fill in the rest of the line. Next, I'll put in my title and the week number and write out a little mini calendar. Now I'm putting some dots around the weeks that I'm actually drawing in here. Surprise, surprise, more dots. And finally, adding a to-do list to my weekly. I can now fill in the days of each week. After that, I'll fill in the date, and that will be one of the weeklies done. Now, let's rinse and repeat on the other side. Now I just have to erase my pencil marks and my setup for this month is done. Honestly, if you already have a dotted journal just like me, I recommend playing around with different dotted lines that you can use because the dots that are already there make it so easy for you to just make a straight dotted line where the dots are evenly spread out, which makes it very satisfying to look at at least in my opinion. Like I said, it's very minimal. I really don't like to overcrowd my bullet journal. And since I'm using yearly trackers instead of monthly, I don't have to do those. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.